Hey everybody, it's Cobalt, the new administrator at Delocity.com, and I'm here to provide you with another one of my tutorials, and this one is going to be on everyone's least favorite thing, or maybe favorite, I don't know, whatever. Reactions, reactions, everybody got to love reactions. So, I stuck with some basic reactions. Now, all my tutorials that I'm making right now are pretty basic, and later I hope to add to them, make more advanced stuff. Because if you're expecting to see some kind of reaction where a guy punches this guy, and then the, 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 like the reaction that you see is him doing a backflip, something like that, I'm not going to be doing something that intense in this, in this specific tutorial. Um, these are going to be more like just kind of more basic reactions. And I'm also going to cover something that affects reactions, which is force. So if you're interested in either of those two things, force our reactions, stick around because this is going to be a good tutorial. <laughs> I hope it is. Okay, so for starters, I used the combo from my last tutorial, the combo tutorial, and I just added reactions on this gray stick. So let's start with the basics. You, now this is his fist, and this is where the fist goes. So you have the fist here, and then bam, he punches him. Now he's exerting a force on his body right here. Now the other parts of his body are going to react by this part of the body that the force is being exerted on is going to be pushed back. Now the the other parts of his body that are farther away, say his head to his feet, including legs and whatnot, depending on the, the force of the hit, they may not move back with his body. That's why you have reactions where you punch someone in the stomach and their head actually moves down while their stomach goes back. And the reason is because if you're hitting them here, their stomach is going back, but their head and legs are not. They are staying in place, so he has to bend over to allow his stomach to go back. And then you have other reactions where if it's hard enough, the whole character will go flying just away. And that's because the force was so strong that it not only moved that part where it was hit, but it reflected his entire body and made the entire thing move, the entire stick figure, move away from the hit. Okay? So that's just the basic um, principles of reactions. And another little trick I'll explain. So he gets hit, and he starts moving back. And um, if you don't want him to just stand there, if you want to line him up for the next attack, which is going to be farther forward, or if you just want it to show kind of moderate force, you might, or uh, if you want to show moderate force, or if they'll lose balance, and the way you determine balance is just if you look at the stick and if it looks like he could be standing that way. And normally if you have a straight line or if you have bent legs that are wide apart, then that makes sense. But like um, if you have a leg that's like this and the other leg isn't, is off the ground like that, it would be very hard to balance like that for a long period of time. So naturally the thing to do would be to swing your leg back and take another step, spread your legs out again so you can retain your balance. So here since he's getting hit I want to set him up and I want him to kind of lose his balance. I mean he's going to lose his balance because he's getting hit back. I have him take a step back. Also I have him grab the area where he's hit. He's punched right here and he holds that area. This is a little trick I like to do in my reactions. Uh, it just makes them look like they're actually feeling the pain. I know that sounds really sadistic and horrible, but if you want like a cool fight or whatever, you want it to be as realistic as possible, or maybe you don't. Maybe you want it really cartoony. Either way, this is just kind of a preference. You don't have to show them holding the area where they're hit or whatnot, but you can if you want to. So he's holding kind of his throat area, his chest right there, and his back moves back first. Right here when the hit is first started, his back moves back, and as you can tell from the onion skin, his head only moves slightly down and his legs these parts don't move like at all these bend slightly see the areas closest to where the hit is hat is at will bend the most compared to the areas farther away and so he bends back he takes a step he's holding the area then he gets punched in the head now this punch is kinda of startling him so his hands are gonna release from his chest and that's just a preference I like to do I mean makes it look more like a hit and this hit's actually strong enough to knock his entire body into the air. I mean, that may be kind of cartoony, but I think it's cool. And if you notice, his arms, because he didn't hit his arms, they're kind of staying in the same area. They're bending down so that they can try to stay in that same area for as long as possible. And this is kind of a little trick. It helps make your animations look smoother. If you um 
make certain parts of the stick limbs and whatnot stay in an area uh, for longer periods of time you don't want them to just fly all around you don't want it to fly behind immediately you want it to show them moving back and um, so for this one I kept his arms in that same area kind of trying pointing down and he goes up in the air and then bam he gets kicked in the stomach right there right here and these parts of his body they bend the least and his hands they try to go this way to stay where his last was because this is where he last was so these parts are going to be going over there while this part's going to be going over here you need to get these principles down and so he starts to bend over and hold his stomach he lands on his feet catches himself looks back up at his opponent and then bam gets caught right in the face with another uppercut once again his hands move down this one isn't as strong because he doesn't go off his feet he just uh, takes a step back uh, something happened right here with the color let me fix it real quick <coughs> so instead of going knocking him up into the air he just <coughs> sorry <coughs> he just takes a step back and once again his hands as you can see they're trying to stay where he last was he's kind of dazed and then bam he gets punched in the throat face uh, yeah the face and so he takes another step back he's holding his face and then he gets kicked in the head and this one just knocks him out his hands they bend away from his face um, from the surprise of the hit and then they just go back and he just flows in the air and if I continued animating he would just fall down so now I'm gonna play this whole thing okay play it in enter mode we'll hit enter okay so those are um just kind of your basic reactions I think I already explained the principles behind them now another thing a uh, little trick I wanted to show you in this tutorial um, about the certain hits now you know that force determines how much a character is going to react a good way to show force in an animation without doing um, camera shakes as hopefully some of you already know if you want to show force you can actually move the characters around or the camera so you can like make them go down and then back up and then it looks like the hit like shook the whole camera do you see that effect the, that's just a basic effect now another effect you can add if you don't um, want to have the whole thing shaking is you can actually have a slight shake of the character's actual limb where he hits to explain this I made a little example um, I have a stick smashing his arms into the ground now this one right here this one shows more force because I use a little trick now look right here at this frame when his hands hit the ground I'm gonna go on top so I can draw on top of it okay so right here his hands hit the ground and then they bounce up and then they bounce back into the middle area now if you didn't catch that his hands are hitting the ground at the lowest point they're bouncing up to the highest point that they're going to go and then they're going into the middle of those two points and it gives kind of a vibration effect like he's wobbling from the hit like the hit is so strong it made his whole body wobble afterwards do you see what I'm do you see and you don't want too many frames of this so that he looks all like jiggly and stuff you just want uh two after the initial hit you want one frame where he's up in the air like if you had a punch like um say an uppercut yeah an uppercut you'd have one frame where his fist is like that and then one like that in the middle of the these two the initial hit the high one and then the one in the middle and it'll make it look um it'll give the illusion of stronger force and then right here i showed kind of a bad example this is the same hit frame but instead of having the arms bounce upward after hitting right here I actually just made them ease downward like that and if you do that it doesn't look as forceful he's just kinda like molding into the ground it's kind of a boring hit as compared to this one see okay well those are just some of the tricks I wanted to show you all today and I hope you apply them to your animations and learn something uh, this is Cobalt and check out velocity.com see you later